Hello, what is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. All right, so today we're gonna to be talking about the Candied Collection, another new wintery one. The packaging is quite adorable. I love when they do these um, little twists on the original four. I do wish Aqua Kiss was one of the ones that they um, made in this, but um, it never is. It's always Velvet Petals, Pure Seduction, Love Spell, and uh, Bare Vanilla. But um, I do usually, like Bare Vanilla, I feel like always is very similar. I don't always like Bare Vanilla. I don't own original Bare Vanilla. Velvet Petals, Pure Seduction, Love Spell are all hit or miss for me. Usually the Pure Seduction one is my favorite because it's the most fruity one. So we'll see if these are good. I've heard, I feel like I've heard a couple people talk about it, but not like in depth or, um, they don't seem like completely wowed by this, so let's see. This is Velvet Petals. Look how pretty that is. That is actually so pretty. Uh, candied. So this is Caramel Ribbon, Glazed Petals, and Nostalgic Twist in Velvet Petals. Now, the only Velvet Petals that I've ever owned is the La Creme version, which I finished up, and I loved that one. It was slightly uh, fruitier and sweeter. So let's smell this. Oh my gosh. I like this a lot. This smells like really sugary flowers. Like, if you took very feminine, girly, like, young flowers and poured sugar on them, maybe that's where, like, glazed petals come from. It's not, like, a gourmand caramel whatsoever. It literally just smells like sugar and, like, pink flowers. Let me smell. Oh, I sprayed some on my hand. And it's so sugary, it almost gives me, like, a maple syrup vibe, which is maybe what that caramel is. But so light, it's just like maybe like they made they added like sugar and water together to make like a sugar water with those florals underneath. I can't imagine this lasting long. I like it more in the cap. It's a little more fruity in the cap. On my hand, it just kind of fades out into this like light sugar water smell with a hint of florals. But there's a slight fruitiness in the cap, um, which is usually how it goes. The fruity notes usually go away really quickly. But I personally really like this. Do we think it's like next level? amazing something completely new and crazy no but if you like velvet petals and you like nice sugary fruity floral scent um i think you'll enjoy this um and if it changes on your skin try to spray it on your clothes instead i usually find that that makes it smell a little better for me but yeah just sugary flowers on my um hand but more fruity in the cap Let's talk about bare vanilla candy. So this is strawberry sprinkles, marshmallow flower, a nostalgic twist on bare vanilla. Have we ever had strawberry marshmallow? That's very unique. Let's see. Okay, so this smells like vanilla, like um, not heavy vanilla. It's a light, pretty vanilla. Sometimes maybe that marshmallow is helping out. It's very like frosting, like there's still something a tad there's something else besides that vanilla, and I know it says strawberry sprinkles, and maybe that's where I'm getting like a hint of like a fruity sugary scent, but really you mostly just get that vanilla. It's like a marshmallow vanilla, and it's vanillas that have been done before. It's not like... I almost would like this more if it was just the vanilla marshmallow without that added, I don't know, artificial sweetness or whatever is in there. I mean, if you have other bare vanillas, I don't think you need this, um, but it's an okay bare vanilla. They've done it so many times, there's really not much you can do with it. Let's talk about Pure Seduction Candied. Again, beautiful packaging. This is Plum Swirl, Sweet Musk, and Nostalgic Twist on Pure Seduction. I feel like they've done Plum before, for sure. Oh my gosh, this just made me so nostalgic. This does have a lot of original Pure Seduction there. Oh my gosh. I haven't owned Pure Seduction in a while. It's like original Pure Seduction, just fruitier and more plum. Almost, it's almost like a, not a fruit cocktail, but like fruit punch. Like if you took Pure Seduction and just made it even fruitier and punchier, that's what it smells like. But it smells very similar to the original. You know what's funny? I actually kind of want this just because I miss Pure Seduction. And then we have Love Spill Candied, which is peach gumdrop crystallized mugwe. Okay, I don't know how to spell that. Say that, a nostalgic twist on Love Spill. I'm just going to show you what it just says. Do, do, do. At first, I thought it smelled really bad. It almost smelled like cream that you left out of the fridge, or like milk that you left out of the fridge. It hasn't gone bad yet, but like a... It almost smells like milk. Um, but then it starts smelling kind of edible. 
It's like icing without the sugar. I'm so confused. Hint of fruitiness. I guess you do get kind of like a gumdrop smell. Not like a specific... You know when the gumdrop like initial fruity flavor goes away in 0.2 seconds? Um, after that you just have this like gumdrop taste. It's kind of what it smells like. It's I don't like it. Okay, I've decided I don't like it. It's like that gumdrop smell with milk. Like, it feels like this was supposed to be some kind of edible pastry, but it just doesn't smell very good to me. I don't know. It's like peaches and cream, except you don't really smell that much peach, and the cream is just unsweetened milk. I don't know. I'm not into it personally. Let me know what you guys think about that one. I'm kind of surprised. Love spell usually is a little different, but... Anyway, those are the um, body sprays. Let me know what you guys think about them, if you like them, if you're planning to purchase any, or if you're waiting for the semi-annual sale. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.